Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at Mars Shadow in the Open Mars League. This Pokemon was quite frequently actually requested and so today we're going to take a look at it. This Pokemon got nerfed. Twice actually. Had access, or still has access, to Counter as well as Rock Slide, which both got big nerfs. And still, it ended up actually higher up on the meta rankings right now for PE Poke than it was ever before, basically, at rank 15, which is interesting. Why is that the case? Of course, you already know at this point already, it has access to the fast move of a Sucker Punch. And you might think, okay, how is Sucker Punch, a move that's non-stab and a clone of what Counter was, better than Counter? And the reason for this is actually quite interesting. Counter is not really an ideal type of move for the open master league in a lot of cases because there are quite a lot of flying type pokemon quite a lot of ghost type pokemon around quite a lot of um yeah psychic type pokemon around and two of those types already you're going to hit super effectively with the um yeah fast move of sucker punch and so basically pokemon like necrozma which were a horrible thing to deal with are now very very manageable making this pokemon way way better you still have ice punch which is great in the current meta and you still have close combat, which we are gonna talk a bit about here as well for this team. But anyway, first battle is going to be a victory. But it's not all smooth sailing here with this team. There are of course going to be matchups where you're going to struggle a little bit. Here's one of those. We're going to have a Vene Crossman in the lead. We can go for one close combat do around half of the HP from the opponent, and we're gonna swap out and do some super effective damage with our new fast move, which is kinda great, right? But of course, we're gonna struggle up now as well a bit against Ivalta. Ivalta is a Pokemon that we got recently buffed as well. And the idea behind this team was actually kind of baited out anyway with the Mars Shadow. And so I'm quite happy that we were able to do this. And um, then I want to try to kind of punish it later on with the Xerneas. And that's kind of the idea behind it. That's why we're going to have the other Necrozma form in the back, which kind of tries to, yeah, get a bit of support from the uh, Mars Shadow here, which in terms of getting rid of Ivalta, that definitely worked out quite well for us, but the form itself, we're gonna talk about this as well here in today's so just um, Anyway, close combat is coming through here against the opponent, we're gonna have now the Necrozma against Rhyperia, and we have to kind of have a guessing game here. If they go ahead and go for a breaking swipe, I'm gonna lose, and so I had decided to call the bait and did not really work, and so yeah, they're gonna win this battle, but it's a 50-50 chance, like, it was not really my mistake in my opinion. Great lead for the next matchup, we're going to have the Rhyperia coming in next. This Pokemon has one big weakness and that's going to be fighting type Pokemon against because the main damaging move is going to be Rock Wrecker which is going to be resisted and this is going to make this matchup quite a bit easier. So easy that the opponent decides to fall for it immediately. So one thing I kind of want to talk about as well is why is Inner Morris so overpowered right now? Like if you have access to this Pokemon which 99% of you definitely don't have. This Pokemon is ridiculously strong right now. Like this thing with a Fairy Wind Fly and I think it has like Grass Knots, something like this, in its move pool. It basically beats everything. Like it has super effective, double super effective hits against Rhyperia. You have the best fast move currently in the game. I would say favorite is kind of the best fast move in the game right now. Um, you're going to have great coverage with Fly. Like this thing is ridiculously strong right now. It's really difficult to deal with it. And um, yeah, here I decided to use a shield just in case they have Dazzling Gleam, which they could have, which in hindsight I should have not used a shield for. But um, yeah, this thing for sure, a Pokemon that's a bit tricky. But um, anyway, we're going to see here the Rhyperia, which is going to go ahead and go for a charge move. Rock Wrecker is not going to knock us out, but we can try to farm them down, which doesn't work out either. We can go for the full farm down. And uh, let's see here, it's going to be an Amaros coming in. We're going to try our best by going for a fly. The opponent there is going to sadly knock me out with that kind of now. And they actually even catch the move. Great play there, but maybe it was winnable if I played a bit differently, but it is what it is. We can move on to the next opponent. What would have changed with the moveset of the um, yeah, Mars Shadow here? I actually would decide to not go for close combat. Like Ice Punch is needed. Ice Punch is necessary. Ice Punch is the main reason why this Pokemon even exists as like a good meta Pokemon right now. Because Ice Punch is gonna give you coverage against Ivelta, Landorus, Rhyperia. All of those Pokemon, yes, Rhyperia, you're going to be able to hit with the um, close combat for the people in the comment section as well again. Like for sure you're going to be able to do that. But Ice Punch is the main reason why Marshadow is really around right now. 
But there's another move that this Pokemon can learn, which I would recommend you to go on for this one. And this is Rock Slide. It got nerfed. It is a move that also hits flying type Pokemon. But with this team specifically, you want to kind of have Rock Slide on this Pokemon maybe, because it's going to allow you to hit double super effective on Ho-Oh. And if you're gonna take a look at the team, and if you're gonna take a look at Ho-Oh, you're gonna realize quite fast that Ho-Oh is a big problem. And we very likely gonna see some battles against Ho over here as well still today. It is very, very yeah, nearly impossible to even be, deal with the Ho right now. And yeah, it's not, not really impossible at the end of the day. It really depends on the situation that you're in. But let me tell you, Rockside really will help you out. Like Rockside is gonna be able to help you out quite a bit with that kind of weakness. And the close combat, I barely really used. Next opponent, we're going to have the great lead that we kind of need to keep and we have a nice next matchup as well where we're going to have Sucker Punch and Ice Punch which is going to allow us to knock out that line risk quite easily. Double super effective Ice Punch from a very hard hitting Mother Shadow is something that is not to joke about. As you're going to see, we're going to get the shield from the opponent. We can try our best to go for another charge move afterwards. But yeah, Mother Shadow for sure with Sucker Punch is a bit better as well. Like for sure is a very solid Pokemon to run right now. But I'm still not really too sold about A, the team and B, the moves that over this Pokemon. And I have to say, I do think it's quite difficult right now to find a team that is working around this thing because there are not a lot of Pokemon that really make sense with this. Um, actually, one Pokemon that I'm just thinking about that would make a bit of sense with this Pokemon might be actually the one that we already showcased on the channel literally just, I think, today, which is going to be Nialigo. Nialigo makes a bit of more sense as well, being able to counter fairy types plus flying type Pokemon, which is the main weakness of it, then have this one as a Caesar and then have something similar in the back. I guess it would make a bit of sense as well. But um, yeah, anyway, it's a bit difficult to build a good team around this thing. Anyway, we want to have you also the matchup of Necrozma against our Eval, Eval I won't say Xerneas, of course. Xerneas is going to be able to get the knockout here, and Xerneas is going to be able to get another knockout straight away afterwards. Being one of the best answers to the Eval it's kind of great that this Pokemon exists. So, we're gonna see here as well the opponent having the Necrozma in the lead. We saw already what we did before. We decided to go for a close combat and then we're gonna swap out into our um, yeah, say swap of the Marshadow. Marshadow is doing some super effective damage. Here, yeah, I think this was clearly just a Dark Pulse. Kinda maybe silly for me to use a shield there. But they're gonna go into a Landorus, which is also very silly to be fair. Especially as we're gonna have now a little bit of a better matchup. Here's one thing as well for the Landorus matchup. It actually got a bit better this season as well because you have now the lesser energy generation from Mud Shot, which is really cool. And so I do think that this Pokemon has still a lot of play though. I maybe kind of want to take a look at Landorus again as well. I think it's a very good Pokemon. But here we were barely not able to knock them out, which is fine. We're gonna still be able to go for one more fast move with Xerneas here. We're gonna be able to go for the close combat, which might be able to even knock them out here. Let's see. It does not. And now we're going to have Necrozma against whatever they have in the back. And we have a ton of energy. And so we are in a great spot here, right? Dark Bolt's coming through, getting our final shield. It's going to be Everlock in the back. And I was like, I should just go for the Moon Gas Beam. I thought they need one more fast move. And I forgot that they learn Crunch. Actually, didn't forget. Actually, this was something that I was thinking about doing last season. I think this season doesn't make too much sense to run Hisuian Everlock with Crunch, I have to say. I don't think there is like a lot of targets as both Necrozma forms are barely there anymore. Like I'm like, basically I have not seen a single um, yeah, Necrozma form that we have here right now, the Dawn Rings variant at all so far because of the Dark type buff, of course. And so like, I don't really think that Crunch makes too much sense, but Rockside is also gone. So maybe it makes sense as a substitute for that. Rhyperia, Rhyperia, this Pokemon is going to be definitely something where you're gonna be able to go for a close combat and do some decent damage, but it is not as easy as well. I tried to catch a movie, it didn't work out, and instead I caught a Xerneas, and yeah, Ice Punch is gonna be nice. Ice Punch is gonna put them into range for one Moonblast, I guess, which is cool. But is it going to really help us? We will find out shortly. We're gonna have the Moonblast coming through, gonna knock us out straight away. We have some energy, but I decided to go into my Necrozma somehow. And I am not too sure on how smart this was. But Moobla is coming through. And we can go for the Dark Pulse. On the CMP tile, this is going to be able to knock them out, hopefully. 
We have a ton of damage output. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be able to knock them out. And we can now see as well what they're gonna bring in next. It's going to be the Rapuria. They're gonna go for a charge move, and we're gonna try our best here with using a shield against that Rock Riker. We can go for the Moon Guys Beam. This should basically knock them out, I think, at this point. Let's run out. We're gonna get the shield from the opponent. We're gonna snipe them with a close combat, which was, I think, a great idea here because they should go down. They don't go down, but it's going to be a CMP time. And so they're gonna go for the Rock Riker onto our, um, yeah. Basically our fairy type there, which would have been very bad for us to have against the ho -Oh. But ho -Oh again is a bit of a problem because it can survive a moon guys beam This is like the one big thing there for this one. I think if Necrozma gets a shadow form eventually I think this one gonna be way better as the, this variant basically Moon guys beam is like in this one awkward position where basically it is never able to really get a one shot Like it's very rarely able to get a one shot because most Pokemon survive with like 10 H, like 10% or like 20% of their HP, which is grand because then they can go for the full farm down. But in like the zero shield scenario, you're usually not going to be able to go for the full farm down. And so I don't know. They could definitely think that. Yeah, by the way, if you wonder why did, did I swap out there, I was wondering the same now as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to be able to go for the full farm down. Oh, look at this. We're going to see here the um, Kyogre coming back in. I'm going to go for the bait. They're definitely never going to call that. Let's run out. If they're going to call that, they decide to call that. And so that is not ideal. We can go for close combat. Close combat is going to do some decent damage, right? Yep. And we're going to see them going for their own charge move. At least it's kind of damage control, I guess. We should be able to go for the full farm on with these Xerneas, but I think I can chicken out here and swap out into my Necrozma. I have one charge move stored still on that Xerneas, and so as long as I'm gonna get the shield from the opponent's Dialga here, I might be fine. We might be able to snipe them. We're gonna go for the Dark Pulse, get the first shield. I think I should be able to outspeed them now for the next one, and maybe, just maybe, I should be kinda okay here, right? Yeah, Iron Head is coming in. We can go for the next Moon Guys Beam, and I think afterwards I should be able to swap out thanks to the Shadow Claw damage, which is stab as well, which is really nice. We have clearly have them in the range where we can go ahead and go for the close combo to knock them out, which you can do now. And so in comes now the Zashi, and we're going to try our best going for the close combo here again. This is going to be enough to knock them out as well, and we can win the battle. Isn't that nice? Second to last battle, we're going to have the Ho-Oh against us in the lead. There's going to be a matchup where we're going to have to swap out in this one of them, where I was say that Rock Side would be kind of ideal. But, um, yeah, I am expecting in the back another fairy type, and so I doubt that we have really any chance. And I was wrong, actually. Spoiler alert. There's not going to be a fairy type in the back. There's not going to be a fairy type in the back. There's going to be a different Pokemon there. We'll stay tuned to find out. And um, it is going to be an interesting one because maybe we still have a good chance here. Let's find out. We're going to be able to go up to a Moonblast. As we know, we're going to have a struggles against the Ho-Oh. We need to have our Necrozma to beat everything. It's going to be Kyogre. Ho-Oh and Kyogre together on one team. Cool shiny here. I love that one. Um, it's going to be difficult to beat um, the opponent. At this point, I feel like the smartest move for them would be to go ahead and let the move go through for them because... They can just farm me down with your whole ho -Oh, does more damage. But they decided to do the, not that, and that kind of gives me an opportunity maybe to win the battle. If I went for the Dark Pulse instead, which I maybe should have done here, to be fair, because it was my only win con, I maybe had actually a bit more play. But um, as you can see, they can still go for a Hydro Cannon here, which is going to knock me out. And so, sadly, I'm going to lose this battle, but it's fine. We can move on and, yeah, take a look at the next opponent. Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is going to be a one matchup that, again, I don't really like, and imagine I had Rockside here. But the opponent doesn't know that, and so they go ahead and use a shield onto an Ice Punch, and maybe I should have not used the shield, yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't think that the shield was really necessary. They swap out into the Zacian, I am debuffed, I don't do damage, I hope they can swap out, I can't swap out. Like, my switch clock is just not up there yet, I could use a shield, I am not gonna use a shield because how am I going to be able to beat the Ho-Oh? Like, I have to rely VCD on my Necrozma. Necrozma is my only way of beating that Ho-Oh. And so, again, Rock Side would be nice. Would also allow you to hit those fairy types maybe a bit better. But, um, honestly, I just really hope that we're going to get the signature move for this Pokemon eventually. For the Amar Shadow with Spectral Thief, that would definitely be way better for it. Giving it some nice coverage on the Ghost Typing. I think that would be really good for it, but... Right now, I don't think it even learned Shadow Ball, which is kind of sad. And so here, I uh, decided to go ahead and go straight for the big move, straight for the Moon Gas Beam, 
and I sadly call it incorrectly. If I actually went for the bait first and then for the Moon Guys Beam, I would have had a chance of knocking them out. But yeah, like this day is not really a way. I can try my best. I can't really get to a move here anymore. And so this is going to be it for this video. Sadly, I'm going to lose this last one. I feel like it was winnable, but it is what it is. And hopefully, you're going to still. And I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.